Yes, I knew that. Hey kids, my name is Norm and I'm pretty smart. Some people say that my brain is larger than the normal human brain. Yes, I know a lot of stuff. Like I know that the human heart can beat over 100,000 times per day. And also that the human thigh bone is stronger than a piece of concrete. Yes indeed, I also know that wasps taste like pine nuts, worms taste like fried bacon, and that beetles taste like apples. It's true. I know a lot of stuff, but I don't know everything. In fact, I have some pretty big questions, like, how long can I grow my toenails without them breaking off? How small is the itsy bitsy spider? Hmm. <coughs> Which came first, the chicken or the egg? And speaking about eggs, why does the Easter Bunny carry a basket full of eggs? Rabbits don't lay eggs. If you throw a cat out the window, does it turn into kitty litter? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I have a lot of other questions. Very important questions, big questions, but they're questions that I would ask God. Have you ever wanted to ask God a question? If you could ask God one question, what would it be? If I could ask God one question, it would be, why do we have noses? Why did you create snakes? Why do spiders have eight legs? Why can't I run as fast as a cheetah? Why did you make bugs so icky and gross? Wow, that is sure a lot of questions. You know kids, it's okay to ask God questions. We have a lot of questions about life. And life can get pretty tough sometimes. Life sure ain't easy. The good thing is that you've got questions, he's got answers. That's right. And over the next few times we get together, we're gonna look at the biggest questions that people ask God. Today we're looking at the big question, can God really use me? I know many people who think that they're not old enough or they're good enough or even smart enough to be used by God. They think that because of the family that they come from or the things that they've done in their past that God can't really use them to do something big for Him. But that's not true. God can use anyone. Doesn't matter where you come from or what you've done. God's got some amazing plans for your life. To teach us a little more about what the Bible has to say about that, I'm going to introduce you to a good friend of mine. He's a crazy motorcycle stunt guy. His name is Ban. Ban Dade. And you'll see why. Take it away, Ban. Oh hey, what's up bros and brosettes? Ban here, Ban Dade, your extreme sports specialist. Man, I'm here to tell you some really cool things. But first, you're probably wondering about the bandage. See what happened, I was doing this crazy double whip tail grind on my dirt bike here. Gave a little too much throttle, popped the clutch, whoo, hit my head on the ground. See doc says, I dislocated my left cranium. Had the guy to wear the bandage. You know, being the extreme sports specialist that I am, I've seen and done a lot of wild things. But what I'm gonna tell you right now may blow your mind. No matter what you've done, or no matter what's been done to you in the past, your past does not determine your future. Which brings us to today's power verse. And today's power verse says, The old life is gone, a new life has begun. 2 Corinthians 5.17 What I want to do right now is I want all my little miniature men, that's the boys, I want you guys to go ahead and stand up and on the count of three, we're going to say the power verse together. One, oh, two, three. The old life is gone, a new life has begun. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Alright now, I want my teasy weasy little girls to get up and do the power verse with me. But what I want you to do is say it louder than the little boys. You ready? One, two, three. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. 2 Corinthians 5.17 what a bodacious power verse that was, kids. Just remember, no matter how bad your past has been or how bad people have been to you in the past, God has a great plan for you. Now, what I need all of you to do is stand to your feet and let's all say the power verse together. Can you do it? Let's do it. 
One, two, three. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. 2 Corinthians 5.17 What a tubular power verse that was. Well for now, I'm going to throw it back to my boy Norm. But just remember, my name is Ben Dade and I am stuck on Jesus because Jesus stuck on me. Thanks Ben Dade. You know kids, today we're going to look at the question, can God really use me? By looking at the life of Joseph, you know, Joseph was a kid in the Bible who had a pretty rotten life, according to some people's calculations. His family was all messed up. His brothers hated him, his dad didn't treat his kids fairly, and some of his other family members were cheaters, liars, and even murderers. Doesn't sound like somebody God would use, does it? But the truth is, God does use Joseph to do some amazing things. See, it doesn't matter what you've done in your past or where you come from. If you ask God to forgive you and to use you, He does. Everyone can be used by God. Your, your past does not determine, determine your future. future. Isn't, Isn't that awesome? awesome? Well, that brings us to today's big idea. Today's big idea says, no matter what I've done, no matter where I've been, God's got a future where I can win. So anytime today you hear this sound, Hey, what's the big idea? Stand up on your feet and say, no matter what I've done, no matter where I've been, God's got a future where I can win. And that's today's big idea. Well, we've got a lot to learn today as we look at the life of Joseph and we ask the big question, can God really use me? So sit back, relax, and remember, you've got questions, he's got answers. See you later. Bye-bye.